in this video today i share with you how i'm redoing my closet on a budget come check it out <laughs> the first room to work on is the closet please don't ask me why i know some people would want to start with the kitchen or the bathroom for me it's the closet today we are on the way to my favorite store and that's home depot i truly love home depot Home Depot is like a second home to us. We are always in Home Depot. Our first stop today is the Craftsman Molding Department. We are looking for molding. To be specific, we are looking for the quarter rounds for the closet. That is really important uh, for the finished work to look beautiful and nicely defined so we are checking for the best one that can suit the work that we are doing today quarter rounds are sold per foot so you have to make sure you measure the room in which you are going to install them and uh, you buy them according to the size of the room the reason why i love home depot so much is because everything that you need to remodel your house is in just one place. See, we're already looking at the bathroom sets when our purpose for today is just the closet. I cannot begin to tell you the importance of paint. Paint will transform any kind of space it doesn't matter how ugly it is throw some paint there and it's a game changer if you want to do something in semi-gloss if you're quite maybe a different color mm -hmm. you can tint it to okay. that color using semi-gloss especially because semi-gloss we use them for trim mm -hmm. baseboard and all those did you get that advice on the paints? This is day one on which we are just doing the shopping in preparation to start. Now the brushes, how do you decide which ones are? Okay. These ones, I normally buy them because they are thin here. So they are good for cutting the corners. You know, when you are cutting a corner, you just go. Make sure to buy the thin brushes for cutting the corners. Listen to the expert. It's time to pick the rollers. The rollers are so powerful because they help you to cover a bigger space when painting than when you are using just a brush the eight piece professional painting set is the winner one thing you should not forget is to make sure that your paint is taken to the paint station and mixed up for you there's nothing as worse as having paint which is not nicely mixed when they mix it up nicely for you the paint becomes the same consistency in color so our paint is now mixed up and is ready to be used if you like anything in this video please leave me a thumbs up it is really appreciated we are on the way to the flooring department but first off we stop by the knee pads it's important when you are putting the floor to make sure you have these pads on to protect your knees. My husband knows Home Depot so much, he doesn't even need 
to read the signs, but for me, I always have to read the signs. Even when driving, I always need the GPS. Even when going home, that's just me. It's time for us to choose the floors. And I think the brown is the winner today. As per our budget for today, that's all we needed to start our project. Oh no, I forgot the joint compound. You cannot do work without the joint compound. And also a small ladder. We need a small ladder to finish our work. Do you make a shopping list whenever you're going to shop? Please leave me a comment. I would really appreciate to hear from you. I think for today, this is all we needed to buy. And we are just about wrapping up, putting everything on the cart in readiness for checkout. We are at the checkout. I wonder how much this is going to be. Please, if you are not subscribed, subscribe to Boss His Money, where everyone is boss. I'm just anxious to see what the bottom line is going to be today. I have the choice of using the Home Depot card, or I could just pay cash for today, depending on how much this bill is, we'll see. If we use the Home Depot card, we can either pay off in 6 months, 12 months, or 18 months interest-free. So it's a matter of choice or preference. We are at a little less than 1400 today. Bingo!